talking so very quickly. Cool. Today we are going to meet one of my close friends and also spiritual mentor of mine, who has been associated with me from the year 2015. It's the year when we both started our journey of spiritual growth, and now he's totally devoted into the path of his spirituality. Let's know more about his life journey from his own experience, and he will try to learn and understand how Jyotish is deeply connected with the path of spirituality and karma. So please welcome Vishal Tripalji. Thank you for joining me on my channel, Vishal Ji. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm happy that we are uh, doing this interview today and uh, it's certainly going to bring a lot of uh, topics for discussion and uh, the journey with you had been really, really good. I remember when uh, the day we met and uh, when we discussed uh, our first topic on astrology because this is how my yeah. journey had been. I started with astrology and this is how I yeah. came into this path. So it uh, automatically opened. So I, I believe astrology is a great science and uh, it's a divine science which can uh, bring a lot of transformation in people as well as it can lead towards the uh, truths of life. Not yeah, only about it. oneself, but about the decoding of the uh, truths and revelations of the universe as well as the multiverse. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, uh, today's topic is about all about spirituality and we are discussing all about spirituality. Uh, we have seen in over the internet and over the all these medias, everyone is doing involved in spirituality, everyone talking about spirituality. Uh, YouTube is filled with lots of Babas and lots of uh, spiritual gurus, lots of enlightenment is there. So what actually it is spirituality? What do you, what do you say about the spirituality? What is the real essence? First of, of all, uh, yeah, first of all, uh, there's this lot of buzz around now because there's a change in the, uh, uh, you know, the whole consciousness on, on this planet and people are more interested and getting more interested in the spirituality and Adhyatma. So they want to know more about it and they want to dive deep into it. But diving deep into it does not mean that you can, uh, you know, uh, get access to everything just on, on the very first go. So one has to have that uh, uh, deep sense of uh, desire that he wants to do something about his own life. Because uh, if, we, if you look at any child or, uh, uh, you know, who, who has that quest inside. So first thing he will do and he will say is, why am I doing it and why should I do it? So uh, this this whole thing is uh, lost in today's time because there's a lot of information as uh, through all the you know channels, all the media houses from YouTube, from Facebook, from everywhere. There's a lot of information which is coming nowadays. So when there's a lot of information, not knowledge, and that information does not add value to one's life. Now yeah. this path of spirituality cannot be uh, uh, for all. It is not the path for all at all. And uh, everyone cannot walk that path. Now, once uh, you, uh, someone says that I meditate for some time, maybe maybe one hour a day, maybe maybe 20 minutes a day, or I do some X, Y, Z practice because my friends had been doing it, or the people around me, they had been doing it. So that does not make him spiritual at all because the rest of the things he's just not following uh, you know, in his life. So spirituality is not for all. That is for first thing. Everyone can be spiritual. That's the second thing. Now, there are people who are, uh, who, who are you know, walking this path and still they are missing the spirit, the whole essence of the spiritual path. As I always say, people who are living at the, uh, at the level of body or living at, at the level of mind, they cannot talk about the spiritual path. But today's uh, irony of the time is that everyone who, who just gets a glimpse of meditation and he knows about meditation, knowing, I'm saying just knowing, he collects a little information about meditation and he yeah. starts talking about spirituality or they read any XYZ uh, master or any, anyone and they start talking about this, uh, you know, spirituality and uh, he, he's trying to link all the topics together. But it is not that way. It is one's own revelation. It's one's own source of information, which is the pure knowledge, which is coming from the uh, uh, universe. It is from the nature itself. So this is how it has happened with me. And this is how I have walked this path. I have not relied upon books. I have not been into, you know, authors. I have not been into masters so spirituality is a path where you have to find the truths of life and firstly the truths of your own self so people who are living with a lot of desires for money for possessions for you know uh, the praises for uh, authorities for power so they they are they are not at all into spirituality 
comes come come what may they cannot be into spirituality because they are not living the essence of spirit the essence of spirit is about freedom so until and unless you are slave to one system or the other system be it astrology as well people in astrology they talk about spirituality when they are obsessed with astrology they cannot be because they are now slaves of astrology the, uh, the vedanga yeah. jyotish whatever they call it so they are the slaves of it when they are slaves of it they cannot be into spirituality spirituality in astrology can be merged just in a way that astrology can be a doorway to spirituality it can only be a doorway astrology can work as doorway it can help you understand it can cater you it can assist you understand the various parts of it, of this universe and the multiversal laws that's it up to that extent it it can be work before uh, before that and after that there is nothing called uh, the laws because before that you are you are living some some uh, other sort of life which is full full of desires and later on you are living a life which is full of spirit so in between is the doorway of astrology so that this is how uh, spirituality has to be Astro- spirituality is to live uh, amidst the nature and being one with the nature not living uh, you know living your own life and and uh, totally unnatural there's no connect with the nature and you you don't know who, who you are you don't know what your spirit is how, how this universe is working and you're not following even a single discipline and you call yourself spiritual this is the uh, trouble of today's time because of the flowing of the information because you are you have the access to information but knowledge as i said uh, earlier as well and knowledge is not available to all knowledge cannot be available to all and it will not be available to all it will only be available to the handful of people who actually do something for their own self and who knows the natural laws how to connect and how to uh, get that access to the knowledge which is which is the uh, pure knowledge and in in the vedanta also it is called the brahmanishta guru so only such a person who is a shrutri brahmanishta guru who understands knowledge through his own ears directly coming and pouring from the na- nature that person can have the access to the knowledge rest everyone just uh, they're just playing around the information game they're just playing the information game yeah so how you started this journey malo how you uh, experienced the path of spirituality how you moved in this path uh, uh with me the, it, it was totally reverse game because i i didn't do anything for whatever i am speaking today and for whatever i have done so far it has nothing to do with me at all because i have none of my efforts in this direction i have i've never been into this i have i was not even aware what is spirituality or what is spirit at all i was a normal guy you know working in with the corporates normal education normal everything coming from a very simple uh, family and i still i live a very simple uh, very simple life very simple life so i never had that uh, inclination towards it but yes going through all the religious things what what our family teaches uh, being being in a being in a traditional family so i was all all into those rituals and those things but just doing it blindly there was nothing that i was i i i, I knew that uh, what am i supposed to do with it so aisa kuch bhi nahi tha ki mujhe pata tha ki aisa kuch hone wala hai so somehow my life changed uh, when i was going through the most toughest time of my life at, at the age of 27 and a half so that was a time when my life changed and uh, by 28 year of my life the life was totally transformed into something else so it is something that i i can i i can just say that it was something from the past which has happened with me in this part because i'm living two lives in the same world and uh, apart from that it has it has happened with me it is not that something i did with my own effort in this part it is not at all my efforts i just woke up to reality this is why i or or I, or we can say i stumbled into it it is not something that i brought into my life so that this is how i i continued walking the path the first thing which which uh, entered my life was astrology that's what the very first thing because uh, my family always believed in astrology they we had our own uh, uh, guru who 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 used to practice astrology at that time and uh, back then but uh, now the things are very very clear crystal clear and we have no such superstitions which used to be before and the life has changed uh, in totality and this is how astrology came and then ultimately slowly and steadily i i continued walking the path as it opened unto me because the very first thing uh, which happened with me was when i woke up uh, that morning in 2014 the first thought of the day was that people are not looking at me they are looking at just my body 
they are not able to see me at all they are just behaving to my body they are reacting to my body they are conversing with my body they are not able to look at me even in even in in its truest sense so uh, when they are just living an out, uh, outside life at the surface so they cannot see me so that was my first uh, thought of the day in 2015 when my life started changing and by november 2014 my life was totally changed and 2015 i started uh, having glimpses of my guru shigur mahavata so then my experiences with him and my, uh, the sadhana for devi and my experiences with devi then uh, then my guru uh, he uh, you know he allowed me to go for the initiations of a handful of people so i did that so slowly and steadily we continued walking the path so this is how we have reached here so far but astrology had been the basic seed from where uh, the universe spoke to me and i could converse with nature there had been many many things uh, but i never believed in you know uh, going into the public in that manner and i never want to go into the mass yeah in jyotish we used to say it's called total transformation the house eight house which represent the yeah. transformations and uh, you are also a aquarius yeah. and then so i can understand the sense of yeah so agar hum baat kahe Yeah, in my case, in 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 terms of Jyotish, if we say that uh, uh, the the Kumbh Lagna, because we are going through the such an age where the Aquarian yeah. and Leo, yeah. uh, th- these are going to the power, this is going to be the powers which I be in uh, light yeah. at this moment. So Aquarian certainly it has worked for me. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, uh, the Nakshatras played a very well role in my life. Uh, like my uh, Nakshatras, uh, like Shatabisha, Uttara Bhadra Pada, and Ashlesha, they played a great role. it's brought all this for me so and but by, but the birth of my daughter because uh, mercury is my atma karika so uh, that played a great role yeah uh, immediately after the birth of my daughter within a few months yeah 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 yeah, yeah so that's the, my the birth thought. of your daughter so mercury played a great role total transformation yeah, it it popped up <laughs> yeah. it popped okay. up okay and so, other thing i can uh, add here is because that time rahu was transiting through my 8th house and my rahu is very powerful Okay. and uh, that really worked on that that really brought in this uh, you know it it triggered the uh, yeah uh, all uh, new new earth dimension things. yeah because yeah. Of it, the it, it op- opened up uh, what was all there yeah so agar hum baat kahe adhyatam ki to aap ek general layman jo log hain jo adhyatam ko samajhna chahte hain aur adhyatam mein janna chahte hain ki adhyatam hai kya वो इसको कैसे जान सकते हैं वो इसके साथ कैसे जुड़ सकते हैं लेट मी शेयर द लिटिल बिट अबाउट एस्ट्रोलॉजी आई कैन गिव गिव सम हिंट्स हियर फॉर द पीपल दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज द आत्मन द सोल व्हिच इज जस्ट आउटसाइड द बॉडी व्हिच इज नॉट टेकन बर्थ गेट सो दैट दैट इज बेसिकली द आत्मन व्हिच व्हिच वी रिप्रेजेंट इन एस्ट्रोलॉजी एज सन सूर्य सो व्हेन सूर्य एंटर्स द बॉडी द आत्मन एंटर्स द बॉडी इट्स बिगिंस टू बिहेव एज मन it begins to behave as man because it identifies itself with the body which is mars the deha and it identifies itself with the senses which is purely your uh, mind moon so uh, when when sun enters it is the uh, sun which which becomes totally silent because it is under the layers of the mars and the moon so when sun is totally going silent so it is first of all the uh, the practice and the discipline which has to bring mars and moon in line so mars is all about the deha first of all deha has to be brought in yes. line so and then then after your mind moon has to be uh, yes. tuned it has to be disciplined controlled in a way that uh, that it does not behave against and it it does not create any ripples to the outside environment exactly. so when your deha mars is la- aligned your moon is aligned by default it gives shine to your sun sun gets the complete chance to uh, you know uh, shine so only those people whose sun is shining their yes. spirit is spirit. Uh, you know shining and yes. only the spirit is left there is no discipline which is left at the level of deh or man only spirit is left soul yes. is has soul has to work and now soul has to travel in this body vehicle True. not the jivatman so that person can can be said spiritual who is working at the level of spirit because 95% of the people who call themselves as spiritual out of the spiritual world i'm saying out of the spiritual world 95% of the people who say that they are spiritual they are only and only struggling with their 
body and mind in a struggle so there is nothing called spirit it yeah they there is this struggle inner struggle as well as because they are either uh, people you know in today's world you will see even the yogis they are fi- fighting with their body they have diseased body they are fighting with their ego which is the basics of the science that you have to learn yogis or any vidya for that matter you have to first to become an empty cup only then you can fill fill your cup from with knowledge when your cup is not empty how can you fill it so when they say we don't know we don't know, want to learn and we know everything so this way you cannot be spiritual you cannot even approach the spiritual science so nature can only be uh, approached when you say that i don't know and i want to know more i want to explore i want to know it it is the same thing like uh, if you will see that in in case of uh, ashtavakra and uh, raja janak you know so what what if ashtavakra uh, uh, is is meeting raja janak and raja janak says to him that i don't want to know because i know everything yeah so do you think in that in that manner uh, uh, ashtavakra can can deliver ashtavakra yes, or his is if one is not able to listen how can yeah you get the essence of the knowledge yeah you have to first yeah. empty so this way yeah empty yes first of all you have to be empty then you have to be little down because that is how uh, this is how, this is the whole uh, essence of the upanishad as well because you have to be down upanishad in the word upanishad itself the knee says niche you have to be down yes. you have to be down because the 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 cup which is filled and the empty cup if we bring them together you cannot fill them if they are equal to each other only the empty cup has to be brought down only then you can fill from the filled cup so this is how it works there was people who are struggling only with the health or even the healers today they call themselves as spiritual because they are meditating or whatever practices they are following but they are suffering from disease they are suffering from ego their lifestyle is not like that at all which which connects them to nature or in any way they can say uh, that they they are uh, not you know troubled so they have anger issues they have ego issues they have all those issues in the world they are they are just after praises and all the power in the world and they want money and they want to heal people just because of money they are because they say we have invested money in a course so we have to earn money from this course so so that is this this is not the way this is really not the way because the vidyas are not not working that way vidyas does not work this way at all and these practices are totally wrong it's like totally wrong because such people cannot uh, do anything because i i don't know if they know the basic basic uh, disciplines of learning any vidya so first of all the the person has to be shishya only yes. then we can learn something or learn anything of the vidya until we are not shishya so spirituality at the level of body and uh, mind it is not possible spirituality the word itself is spirit adhyatma it it by default says atma so adhyaya of the atma is adhyatma then we can say that we are doing something about it first of all we have to correct the body then we correct mind then only we reach the level of the spirit until we don't reach the sun then till then we cannot work you can actually t- apply such technique which i have just uh, just spoken uh, a, a little back that uh, it is about the mars and the moon because most of the people they are living at mars or they are living at the moon but mm-hmm. sun is just creating the situations here and there all around it is just lighting up all the houses so and it term, is in the solar in terms of astrology there should be alignment or some harmony between mars moon and sun then we can enter into the journey uh, of quality it has to be an alignment uh, that your uh, the see first of all the alignment is not at all the uh, yeah. uh, 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 thing by choice it is not by choice because people they die totally in in moon or at mars so the desires of the body or desires of the mind it gives them death and they come back again in this birth just without any conscious they are not awake in the past but they they continue taking birth again and again yes. so when they are just you know dying and coming dying and coming so basically it is only the mars and the moon which is yes. worse until so they don't disconnect from picture. mars and moon sun is not at all in the picture at all people who are talking that their sun is very powerful this and that yes. it is just like maybe their sun is just behind uh, behind the fifth house behind the fifth house only then they have that means they have a lot of work to do in this world if if the sun is behind the fifth house like in the fourth house third house second house the first house in the lagna so they have to do something they have learned they have lessons to learn as a level of spirit yet true so if if sun crosses the fifth house it moves into the sixth seventh eighth ninth like these houses then we can say that at least something he can learn at the level of uh, spirit because there are, there are certain sutras which which i have 
just learned from nature itself. It is this something it is uh, which which I have tried and tested on people who are into spirituality, and we applied on many charts of the masters. In today's world, people who are behaving as masters, they are not even masters at all. They are not even masters. They they are not even gurus because they are basically either the sutra guru or the vacha guru or they are the vihit guru, karan guru or nishit guru. So there are a lot of types of the gurus, but they are not the param guru who can take someone out of this cage. Yes. Because they their self are, are a part of the cage. They are living in the cage itself. They have compromised truths either with the authorities in this in this world or in other way. So they they when they their self are not out of the cage, they cannot do something for the disciples, for the people who are following them in masses and masses. And truth cannot be sold in the masses at all. Now Shiva is giving truth to the Parvati only. Yes. You know, in, in a Gurukul system, Guru is giving truth or the knowledge only to a handful of disciples. It is not given to like everyone. That is the only reason I don't want to go into the masses because into the masses, there are other dynamics which begin working and you can, cannot actually work upon truths. Ultimately, you have to compromise this way or that way. So uh, th there are certain alignments in the chart as well, which I cannot speak right away because it's a very basic video we are doing today. And uh, the, the thing is that the entry point of the sun in the chart, the degrees of the sun in the chart and the exit exact, because if I have to uh, go out of my house, I have to face the door, exit door. So that means the alignment of the sun has to be exactly opposite uh, to the exit house, whichever is the exit house in the horoscope. If sun comes in an alignment where in this word sun is exactly opposite the exit house, it takes the exit from the cycle. And there are only few combinations which come. The nakshatras have to support and the gateways of the nakshatra has to be aligned that way. That the sun takes the exit from the door. Only then we can say the person can take. It has nothing to do with Ketu at all. Now, Mercury has to come into picture because the last nakshatra, Revati also, it has like... Uh, uh, it's Lord as Mercury. Yes. So Buddhi has to be very, very sharp. People use mind and they call it Buddhi, but it has nothing to do with that. Buddhi just so the this, uh, curiosity. Yeah, it is. Just, mind is all about curiosity. Mind is all about curiosity. You want to absorb more and more. The alignment of sun exactly to that point where it can take the exit from this birth entry point. Then we can say using the Mercury, the power of Mercury and the nakshatra gateways, the person will go out from this cycle of birth and death in this birth itself. And he'll be awake. And there are combinations, there are sutras which can be applied on charts where we can say the person will not come back. Might be he is awake and he'll come back only for some work. There are certain things we can discuss in later in the later part of the video. So uh, moving ahead, so does the karma plays a bigger role in the spiritual path of the spirituality the one has been into the path of spirituality based on his past samskaras uh, yes because uh, sun uh, is working as the chip sun is the pen drive where, which brings all the impressions from the past but yeah that is the first reason and the foremost reason why two individuals are totally different and they will always behave different because the, the samskar is to totally different because of the impression from the past birth is different so they will behave differently so they have to behave differently because the, the journey had been, uh, you know, somewhere else. They had been coming from somewhere else. They are now continuing the journey from somewhere else. Although there is no difference in the journey, there are no different journeys, but the pathway is same, but the milestones covered are not exactly the same the person has uh, covered in this birth, in the past birth. Now, when sun brings an impression, it, it gives the uh, complete light of the, that impression in the body and the mind. This is how the body is built and person gets a body as a as a part of his journey to be continued and mind gets the whole impression from the sun as a part of its behavior its personality its its outlook of the world its reflection of the world which is which we understand as horoscope to be the very first exposure of the consciousness in the body at the time of birth so when it begins it is it is just like that uh, the past karmas they are they are just impressed on the sun now the person are given choices at the time, at the time of birth, when when the uh, you know the first breath begins, from that very time the, the the journey of the prana begins in the body itself through the nadi system. Although that time it is just the development of the basic sanskara in the first five years, seven years of a, a, a child's uh, journey. But then after, uh, when the uh, journey continues further, the the 
the person is given choices as i said the son gets totally at the back seat you know as i said son goes totally at the back seat so it is only the deh and the mind which begins to work so the for for them it is the uh, you know the desire of the body and desire of the mind which which begins to work now the uh, at, at the level of body and mind the person is given two choices is always given choices which is which we understand as right so person is given choices so out of those two choices he has, he has to pick up until and unless he progresses through the experiences and he ultimately reaches at a point where he is, he says no now i am just fed up and i have to come out of this place because humanity has one big problem of learning through the pain way we just learn through the pain way. there is no other way we'll continue to eat until we don't get indigestion we continue to eat all the synthetic until we don't create trouble to the body we continue to behave in the same way until we don't create trouble to the people and we don't learn from their behavior in return to us so that's how we we actually learn so at the at, at the level of body and mind there is always uh, two choices which which work there are two choices but at the at the level of spirit when it comes to the spirit that time is the time when free will begins to work at the at the level of spirit only the spiritual people can understand that what is it because it is the, it is not by choice because it is by the free will they don't want to participate in something and they don't want to participate in something they want to go through some experiences and they don't want to go through some experiences otherwise at the level of body and mind people are just getting driven away they are just a part of the flow because they are in the cage the spirit yeah. cannot be put into cage because it is the sky it is the light it cannot be put into the cage it's part of the cage yet it is it is free so karma's work maximum at the level of body and mind at the level of spirit when the sun shines then there is no darkness of karma so body and mind gets the karma from the past birth reflected upon them from the sun that karma is basically called the sanchit and the prarabdha yes so does the prarabdha and how a- choosing out of the two choices is called priyaman basically yes so does the prarabdha has a bigger role in spirituality you mean say or the sanchit karmas prarabdha uh, sanchit karmas yes does has sanchit and prarabdha both plays a role but sanchit is more prominent so sanchit gives you uh, uh, because if i look at my case it is the sanchit which is work because yes. sanchit is bring all the uh, knowledge back yes because, because otherwise i i i cannot even ima- imagine to you know ga- gather all this knowledge in this world today yes. it is very birth chart is totally as the mirror of your uh, prarabdha karmas what yes. we have to suffer what we yes. have to face yes. what we have to see in this line is all total our prarabdha karma yes. okay yes so yes. how does the spirituality can help in anything those bad effect of the prarabdha karmas does it can definitely first help? of all people has to learn learn the basics of uh, body and mind the mars and the moon that's the first thing they have to do because yes. before that there is no spirituality people might speak of spirituality or xyz times they can continue to speak but it is not about spirituality and until we are the slaves of any one system or the other then we are not spiritual spirituality means you are living at the level of spirit that means you are free when then when you are at the level of spirit then by default nature tells you all those laws all those things how you can come out of this cage very easily very smoothly and it is not only you but you you lighten up many other candles as well definitely so th- then then we can uh, think that we can come uh, you know come out of this game of karma in this game of experiences we can live freely before that there is no freedom because there is all unknown factors which are working in cage and you are not able to think out of the cage you are just living in the same uh, time space matrix the part of it so spirituality can certainly help but first of all let us reach at that level of spirit where we are following the basic laws of the body basic laws of the mind and then we reach at that level of spirit then we can think of it so so spirituality has a bigger edge over the karmas absolutely absolutely so how can we can understand uh, jyotish in choosing the path of spirituality ah yes uh, first of all uh, if if there are good good jyotishes which is a again a very very difficult thing in today's world if we have good jyotishes who are free from uh, these aspects because jyotish has been a vidya which yes. uh, had been practiced in the past by the rishis by the maharishis and the 
you know the brahma rishis they were they were aware of this vidya so first of all we must think are we living that life of rishis maharishis and devarishis or brahma rishis if we are following that path we are living that life then we should practice this vidya yes. because if we are practicing this vidya for the sake of you know getting more subscribers for the sake of getting uh, an award yeah. or for the sake no, of you know, more name and fame doing some prayers or something etc yeah that all body body and mind level thing if you are yes. just involved in that and our body is disease so then we cannot uh, take out from yes. astrology in any way yes. because astrology can only tell you then what are the prarabdha you are going to have what is so going to be your it is not about the spirit yes. so it is just basic about basic of the life the mundane life the routine life yes but so, astrology can play a very big role because ultimately astrology is a part of the vedanga so yes. it is the part of ved so when it is a part of the ved so it can actually help us get go from uh, knowing of the god and then ultimately to the kavalya so it can take us it, it can help us complete this journey yes so basically jyotish is a brahma vidya it is a vidyas of the rishis yes. vidyas of the sages what they have practiced the yes. jyotish but, in the but today you will not see the sages practicing it yes you will not see it. that is why when when someone comes to me i tell them if you want to learn in a very a uh, lengthy way in a in a way where you can actually follow the guidelines in your own life in yes. the disciplines you can follow only then we can talk about it otherwise i'm not interested to teach them and you have to live with me at least you have to come to my place you have to live with me sometime so that you at least see my lifestyle and you actually follow it then it is not about you know uh, when they don't see it then they can speak of anything because speaking of uh, things is very easy nowadays but yes. until you don't live live in it because that is that is how i have learned in my life until you don't live in that environment you cannot understand what what is happening in that environment yes definitely you have to live live in that like in the prashna upanishad the the sons of the rishis they go and live with rishi pipla and ultimately rishi pipla say first of all live live with me for a year and by the end of the year i'll see uh, what is to be taught yes so if i'll get to know it i'll tell you so yes. that that is how we have to understand it yes this this science is all about the guru shishya parampara what the guru has taught to the uh, shishya yes Yes. So it is but a, there are no it, gurus. People it, might behave as gurus. The adhyapak cannot be a guru. Adhyapak and guru, these are two yes. different things. People are teaching astrology in the workshops. They are teaching, or maybe any vidya for that matter. Not I am not into astrology. Yes. Uh, for that matter, ki me astrology ke baare mein hi sir bolu. It is about any any vidya, any universal science, any divine science. So whatever they are teaching, you know. Yes. So it 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 is just like that. so they have to learn it in in a way it was taught by the guru and it was taught to the shishyas yes. so that that is the right way to learn because it, it can only be taught in a very small group of people it cannot be taught in masses masses but uh, as we have discussed in many uh, our previous conversations uh, we are what we are discussing from 2015 you have seen that uh, lots of people are uh, coming in internet and facebook and social community discussing jyotish and most of the uh, young generation are into jyotish from last 3 4 5 years we have seen itself so lots of people are learning jyotish uh, because of the medium of social media uh, is it is it a something a indication towards spirituality or it's a some mass yes. awakening uh, see as i said in in the beginning of our conversation as i said there is a change in the consciousness of yes. humanity there is a change on earth which is happening and uh, because of the change people will you know uh, get more inclined towards the mystical sciences they yes. will begin to learn more of the spirituality they will talk more of it it is a good thing but this is this transition is the most critical time as well this we have to actually understand this is the most critical time why this is a critical time because there are more shishyas more gurus yes. available yes you know there are more rather i would say that there are more gurus available than the shishyas yes definitely गुरु गुरु ज्यादा हैं और शिष्य कम हैं जब गुरु ज्यादा हो जाएंगे और शिष्य कम होंगे तो शिष्यों के लिए दिक्कत ज्यादा है क्योंकि जो अच्छा शिष्य होगा जो सबसे निष्ठ शिष्य होगा वो भी फंसेगा उस चक्कर में क्योंकि वो गलत हाथों में पड़ेगा जी और गलत हाथों से निकलते निकलते वो वहां तक जाएगा और गुरु क्योंकि गुरु का गुरु के लिए कोई क्लासिफिकेशन नहीं है देर इज नो क्लासिफिकेशन बट द शिष्य विल सफर इन दिस होल प्रोसेस इफ दे आर स्पीकिंग यू नो एनी एनी डिवाइन साइंस और एनी विद्या ऑन ऑन यू नो uh let's say they are uh, discussing it in in a group discussions are always good 
Yes. But you will most of the time see the discussions they end up with argumentation or yes, proving critics. their own egos, proving their own points. Yes. It is more of a battlefield of information. Yes. The people are where one person ego. wants to you know. Yes. Yeah, they are just serving their ego, it, it, and it leads nowhere. Yes. It leads nowhere. I I never I have never understood this point, and uh, uh, you know so far walking this path in, in public and with so many people discussing and meeting and interacting with them. I never understood this point that why people want to say that they have more knowledge, yes. why they want to just you know project upon the world or impress upon the world that I have more knowledge than you. I don't know why. Why this has to be there? Yes, that means there, 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 that means the way, basics of the vidyas are not learned. Yes. They are not in the they themselves are not in the hands of the right people. That is why they are doing it. Yeah. Yes, it is again. It is it is again the uh, the, the core thing of the mind, the core yes. trait of the mind. Poor behavior of the mind because it when when uh, see there I I always tell this thing when there are uh, uh, different types of minds there are different types of brains as well and one sort of brain is the reptilian brain which which I had been speaking for last uh, two and a half three years that there is a reptilian sort of brain the reptilian brain which is most prominent in the human beings uh, at the level of yeah. mind is they want to defend their own territories they want to you know categorize and uh, they say they there are what information are is our data whatever I have. Is correct. It's truthful, and you will see most of the people behaving in a more reptilian way, uh, way, rather than behaving in a more human way. Human way has to be that it has to be more humane. You have to be more loving. You have to be more accepting. You have to be more connecting, rather than uh, defending and offending people, then limiting your belief, then creating something like uh, whatever I am saying is correct, or uh, you need to listen to me, and you know that that sort of thing. That battle is there of the information, battle of the reptiles. It is basically the battle of the reptiles where they want to defend their own territories. But it should not be like that. We are humans, but that that is a part of the development. It is a part of evolution. We
that we will draw the information, false information, false glories and praises. That is not the so point. Never going to be the So be truthful through. your own self and be truthful in your life. I can't regret leaving you alone. Thank you for speaking out about it. So you find and your and way and back and home. And Find your way back home